Hey guys, my name is Donnie. I am the rehab specialist over at Align Modern Health at our Lincoln Square location. And the exercise that I will be demonstrating to you today is the single leg deadlift. This exercise is great for runners because it helps with the side of the hip, which is going to prevent you from a hip drop while running on a single leg. And it's also going to help with glute activation when you're running so that you're not using your lower back and having to rely on it throughout long runs. So I'm going to demonstrate it first, and then I will explain what I'm doing afterwards. So what you're going to do is going to hinge, grab the weights, make sure you have a neutral spine, and drop. Come back up. We'll do it again. And back down. So for regressions for this, one way you could do is if you didn't notice, you would come down. You could actually tap the toe of your down leg here and then come in and almost like a lunge but keeping this back leg straight to help with a little bit of that stability if you feel unsafe. So what I'm going to go over next are a few common mistakes while going over the single leg deadlift. One of the very common mistakes is when you're coming down into that hinge, people like to round their lower back or curve their upper back. You want to make sure that everything is nice and neutral. And then you come up and then back down. Or because they don't actually have lateral pelvic stability, they are going to rotate here to try to come in. So you want to make sure that your pelvis is nice and stable. Coming up and down. So for beginners, I would actually suggest not doing this exercise and regressing down to a regular deadlift. And for the more advanced and lifters and runners, I would suggest if you're planning on working on power or strength, I would go three to five sets of five. And then for endurance, I would go about five sets of 15 to 20. 